Hey, it's Sean from P2R. Today I wanted to do a quick video, show you guys how to assemble and install our shifter cable bracket for the Honda J-Series manual transmissions. So essentially when you get your package in the mail, this is how it's gonna come. You're gonna have your base and then you're gonna have your three brackets. We're also gonna include all the bolts to put this together. So with the base, we've actually machine grooved everything in here. So it should be really simple for you to install. You can't even install it backwards. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna start attaching the brackets. Since this is machine grooved in, it's pretty easy to follow. So I'm gonna take this first one, put it here. Start to thread it in. These are all of your small bolts that's gonna go in here first. I just like to cinch it up with the DeWalt. Now we're putting the small bracket on. Gonna go ahead and keep it all facing the same direction. And I'm gonna turn it upside down. Just cinch up the bolts a little bit. And then I'm gonna go on to the final bracket, which is um, the third and final bracket. So right if I'm upside down. There you have it, we got the bracket fully assembled. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the original bracket off the car so we can get the new one installed. All right, so the first thing I did was remove my intake from out of the way so I have easy access to the shifter cable itself. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pins that hold the cables to the transmission. Set those aside. Now there's two clips here that actually lock the shifter cables to the actual billet shifter that we're gonna be providing. So we're gonna go ahead and get those clips off first. With the two clips out, we're able to just literally slide this back, pull up the cable, and put it to the side. Slide the next one back, and pull it up, put it to the side. Now the shift cable bracket has three bolts that are holding it in place. I'm just gonna go ahead and take those out, and the cable bracket will come right up. Now that all three bolts are out, you can just lift this right up and take it out. All right, so right here I got the stock bracket next to our new billet bracket. One of the major advantages and the number one reason people would want to go with a billet bracket is you see how thin this is? When you start shifting really hard, those tend to break. Ours, you can see we put a lot more material up there. We made it a lot beefier and it can take a lot more abuse. On top of that, whenever you do break an ear on a, on a stock one, you have to get replace the whole thing. Since ours is a three, uh, four piece design, you can actually just get another, just one piece from us rather than having to replace the whole thing. I mean, they're a lot beefier, so the chances of breaking is very small anyways, but it just makes things a lot easier and a lot more productive. So now that I got it, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new bracket and just get rid of the old bracket. 
we actually provide you with four Allen bolts, four hours. It's a, um, it's gonna be a six millimeter Allen head that you will use to install it. So I like to slide the three bolts in place right away. So that way I, it's easy just for me to find alignment of where it's going on the transmission. Of course I'm backwards, you gotta go this way. And as you see, it just drops right into place. And we'll just start to catch the threads. And screw it down. Get my harness out of the way. Once I thread it in a little bit by hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the process and go down a little bit with the gun. I never like to over tighten with the gun. I literally just bring it into place. And then I tighten up by hand at the end just to make sure I'm not over tightening anything. The next step is to put our shifter cables back in. So our small cable on this particular transmission is gonna go on the center. All right, so now our next step is to go ahead and put the the shifter cables back into place. Now, a transmission only has two um, shifting points, one for left and right, and one for forward and backwards. Our bracket has three, and the reason we have the three is because across the J-Series transmissions, Honda actually uses this spot, this spot, or on some, they use this third spot all the way over here. In my case, and just for the video, I actually put on the third bracket, but for my car, I actually don't need to use this, so I can actually just leave this piece off entirely because um, I'm only going to be using these two. So let's just go ahead and get this uh, reinstalled. Slide that down. I'll bring the next bracket one time. All right, now that you have these in place, we need to go ahead and put the pins back in for the clips. Essentially, just make sure this is pressed all the way forward and that clip is gonna need to tap down, but I'll put it halfway in. I get the next clip. All right, hold it forward, slide the next clip in, and then literally just use the back of the hammer and put it down. Now that the cables are reinstalled, we just need to put a lock-in clip in place so that the cables can't ever jump off of the transmission. And there you have it. P2R billet, shifter cable bracket, fully installed and ready to go. And there you have it, the P2R billet shifter cable bracket, installed and ready to go. If you like this product and wanna get it for yourself, you can find a link in the description to our website. The part number for this product is P757. We have them ready to go and ready to ship. If you like this content and would like to see more install videos and other J-Series related product, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys again soon.